So, welcome to another session on design of mesh elements. Today, we will see design of bevel gears. Bevel gears are used to connect shafts with intersecting axes. Let us see the figure. Here we have a pinion and a gear. Pinion is the smaller gear and their axis meet at 90 degrees. Such gears are called meter gears. When these axes meet, they can be used only not only for connecting right angle gears, it can be used to connect shafts which connect at any angles. Now, we will see the question. Design a pair of right angle bevel gears that is called meter gears to transmit 10 kilowatts at 1260 rpm of the pinion. Teeth are of 14.5 degree involute. Transmission ratio is 3 is to 1 and both pinion and gear made of cast iron and they are made by form cutter. So, our first step is to select a material. Here it is given that they are made of cast iron. So, from our table we have to select from page 234 table 12.7 these are the grades of cast iron from which I am selecting cast iron grade 25 then we have the another set cast iron grade 35. So, we have four uh, uh, varieties of cast iron from which I am selecting the heat treated one. So, that sigma d is 78.5 and its Brunel hardness number is 300. So, select cast iron grade 35. Grade 35 heat treated. Heat treated sigma D1 equal to 78.5 for both pinion and the gear and BHN value equal to 300. So, this completes our first step. After finding the material, we have to select the weaker element. So, we have to consider strength factor. Strength factor equal to sigma d into y, where y is the Lewis form factor. For bevel gears, Lewis form factor should be based on the virtual number of teeth and virtual number of teeth can be found from from the equation we have z e equal to z by cos delta equivalent number of teeth or the virtual number of teeth z e equal to z by cos delta where z is the number of teeth. So, we can take that equation z e equal to z by cos delta cos delta where what is z? z is the number of teeth from table 12.4 b for 14.5 degree involute z1 equal to 32. So, we know the value of z1 equal to 32 and given transmission ratio is 3 is to 1. So, z2 by z1 equal to 3 z2 will be equal to 96. Now, what is delta? Delta is the pitch angle. Delta is the pitch angle. We have delta 1 and delta 2 for the delta 2 for the gear and delta 1 for the pinion. From this figure, consider this triangle. I can write delta 2 equal to R2 by R1 or equal to tan delta 2 equal to r 2 by r 1 or equal to d 2 by d 1. So, tan delta 2 equal to d 2 by d 1 or equal to z 2 by z 1. From this equation, I can find delta 2 equal to 71.57 because our z 2 by z 1 equal to 3, I will get delta 2 equal to 71. After getting delta 2, how will you find the delta 1? Because delta 2 plus delta 1 will be equal to 90 degree delta 2 plus delta 1 equal to 90 degree, I can find delta 1 equal to 
eighteen point four three degrees. Taking these values delta one and delta two to the previous equation, I can find z e one and z e two. Z e one equal to z one by cos delta one, and z two equal z e two equal to z two by cos delta two. So our values of I will re rewrite all those values. Delta z one equal to thirty two. Is a two equal to ninety six. Is a d one equal to is a one by cos delta one equal to thirty two by cos delta one equal to eighteen point four three. Similarly, is a e two will be equal to is a two by cos delta two equal to ninety six by cos seventy one point five seven. I will get z e one equal to. I will get a fractional values, decimal points. Z e one equal to thirty three point seven three. Don't worry about these decimal points because we are doing only for this calculation. Z e two equal to three hundred and three point four six six. And z e one and z e two are discussed in the two lecture classes. You please refer the notes. So after finding z e one and z e two, I can find y one and y two. Given it is a fourteen point five degree involute, so our equation for z will be equal to this our equation: point one two four minus point six eight four by z. And instead of z, I had to substitute z e for Bevel gas. So I'll take this equation: point one two four minus point six eight four by z. So my equation for y one will be equal to point one two four minus point six eight four by e z d one that is thirty three point seven three y one will be equal to point one zero three seven. Similarly, I can find y two y two equal to point one two four minus point six eight four by Is a d two that is three hundred and three point six six. I will get y two equal to point one two one seven. And since sigma d one and sigma d two are same, I can write sigma d one by one less than sigma d two by two because these terms are same. I can write pinion is the weaker element. This completes our second step. Now we have to. Find the module. That is the third step, most important step. So this is our equation to find the module. From equation twelve point three seven, I have this equation. Sigma f t equal to sigma d c v. Take this second equation. Sigma d c v b y m l minus b by l, where f t is the transition load. We have we have already seen in the previous lectures. F t I can write. In terms of torque, so m t equal to 60 p by 2 pi n. That's our first equation. M t equal to 60 p by 2 pi n, and f t equal to 2 m t by d. So I'll write that equation. M t equal to 60 p by 2 pi n, where Power equal to power transmitted equal to ten kilowatts. So ten into ten power six newton millimeter per second, and n equal to speed of uh, pinion because we are designing the pinion thousand two hundred and sixty rpm for the pinion. I'll get m t equal to seventy five point seven nine. Seventy-five point seven nine into ten power three newton millimeter. Then, tangential force equal to torque by radius. Torque by radius. So I can write torque equal to m t. Clear way. Since we are not using radius as such for the calculation, I can write in terms of diameter m t by d by two. M t by d by two. 
so I'll write my uh, my equation will be two m t by d, two m t by d. <coughs> Since our diameter is for the pinion, I can write two m t by d one, and at so uh, at now at present I can I don't know ha have the values of di diameter, but I can write diameter in terms of module, module equal to d by z, or d equal to m z. So diameter m, d1 will be equal to m z1. I already know the value of z1. Z1 equal to 32. So I can write d1 equal to 32. M. So ft equal to 2 into 75.79 into 10 power 3. That is our mt 2 mt divided by d1. D1 equal to 32. Yeah. So I get ft in terms of module. 4736 divided by m. Now we'll see rest values. So I got the left side of this equation. Ft is known. Now I need to get sigma d. We have already selected the material. So sigma d equal to 78.5. For cast iron grade 35 heat treated 78.5. Sigma d equal to 78.5 newton per millimeter square substitute cv as such now we have to find other terms diametrical diameter l equal to root of r1 square plus or in terms of diameter root of d1 square plus d2 square by 2 then we can find this l okay so l equal to l is the cone distance okay see this figure from this figure I can write you take this right angle triangle L equal to root of I can write root of R1 square plus R2 square where R1 and R2 are the pitch circle radius of the pinion and the gear so in terms of diameter it will be equal to D1 square plus D2 square all under root all divided by 2. This is our equation. That is equation given in 12.33. Now we can find d1 and d2. d1 and d2 are those values are known in terms of module. So d1 equal to m z1 32 m d2 equal to m z2 equal to 96 m. So you can find l l equal to root of 32m square plus 96m whole square all divided by 2 I will get L equal to 50.6m so considering that equation now I have the value of sigma d cv can we can substitute as such then we had find capital Y m L is known. No, only unknown is B. What is B? B is a face width. B is a face width of the gear. For finding the face width, we have two conditions to be satisfied. B should be less than or equal to 10 m and B should be less than or equal to L by 3. I can combine these two equations. I can write B equal to minimum of 10 m and L by 3. We have already got the value of L equal to 50.6 M. So, minimum value be equal to minimum of 10 M and 50.6 by 3 M. So, this will be the minimum value. So, I will write take B equal to 10 M. So, I have all those values and capital Y equal to pi Y equal to pi into Y1 y into y1 and our value of y1 was equal to 0 0.1037 and pi into 0 0.1037 equal to capital Y will be equal to 0 0.3258. Now I substitute all, all those values in this equation. So ft will be equal to 
F T will be equal to four thousand seven thirty six point seven five by m sigma d equal to seventy eight point five for cast iron substitute C V as such b equal to ten m minimum value of two values we don't know the value of m capital y equal to pi y point three two five eight three two five eight L equal to fifty point six M and B equal to ten. After substituting all those values, I will get M cube C V equal to twenty three point zero eight two. Now we have to find module from the table for which I have need to find write the equation for the velocity. Velocity equal to pi d n by sixty. So I can write velocity equal to pi d one n one by sixty equal to pi into d one in terms of module thirty two m into n equal to thousand two hundred and sixty. Thousand two hundred and sixty divided by whole divided by sixty. I'll get two thousand one hundred and eleven point two. Not neglecting that decimal point. That much m. Now we'll start with the interesting step. As a module, how to find the module? We we'll substitute all those values in module in meters. Two thousand. So I'm, I'm, my equation is velocity equal to. Two thousand one hundred eleven m. I will start with two m. That is point two m. Since our module should be in meters to find the velocity in meter per second, so module will be equal to point zero zero two meters. So velocity will be equal to two thousand one hundred eleven into point zero zero two equal to four point two two meters per second. Now our equation for C V can be found from this table. For form cut gears, C V will be equal to three by three point zero five by three point zero five plus V. So I'll take that equation. C V equal to for form cut gears three point zero five by three point zero five plus V. Velocity is four point two two. We'll get the value point four one nine five, and from in this equation you have to substitute module in millimeter itself. So two cube into C V equal to point four one nine five. Equal to three point. Equal to three point three. Five six, so our required value is twenty three point zero eight two. This value is lower, so two m is not safe. We'll go to the next higher value. I'll take four m. Let me take four m. Four m equal to point zero zero four meters. So my velocity will be equal to eight point four four meter per second. C V will be equal to substituting the same equation. I will get point two six five four, and m cube C V will be equal to four cube into point two six five four. Sixteen point nine eight, which is also lower. So four m is not safe, but it is nearer to point twenty three. So I will take the Um, next increment with one m, so I will take five m, five m, five m equal to point zero zero five meters. Velocity will be ten point five five six meter per second. C V will be equal to point two two four two. M cube C V will be five cube into point two two 
28.02 which is greater than the required value 23.082 so i can select this 5 mm as a standard module so standard module m equal to 5 millimeters this completes our third step now we can find the dimensions of the gear in terms of the m from page 230 i can find all those values is at 1 is at 2 so is at 2 is known some of the values are known is at 2 equal to 96 is at 1 equal to 32 d1 equal to m is at 1 32 m equal to 32 into 5 160 mm similarly d2 will be equal to 160 into 3 480 mm similarly i can find all those addendum dedentum in terms of module okay you should have. then we can find the dynamic load here ft equal to 2 mt by d we have already do find the, found those values ft equal to 2 mt okay, okay. see this equation here some of the terms are known k3 equal to 20.67 then we can first we will find ft ft equal to 2 mt by d 2 mt by d1 mt is known d1 is known we will get 947 Newton k3 equal to 20.67 velocity equal to 10.556 meters per second and phase width b equal to 10 m so 10 m will be equal to 50 50 m now the only unknown in this equation is c similar to the spur gear I, I need to find the C using that graph and the table. So, first we will find the error in action. Error in action can be found from figure 12.5. So, my velocity is 10.55 nearer to 10. So, I will plot that value. Ten point five five six. I will get a value of F nearer to point 0.4 from the graph I will get f equal to point zero four one. taking this f to the table now we will see what is our material what is our pressure angle our pressure angle was 14.5 degree in, in value 14.5 degree in value so this is our first step first set both are made of cast iron so i have to take the first row so we had to consider this row of values i have got a value 0 0.041 which lies in between 0 0.04 and 0 0.06 so i'll do the linear interpolation for 220.9 and 331.3 these are values So, taking those values, I will write on the top so that we can see both those values. So, 0 0.04, I have that value 220.9, my required value is 0 0.041 for which I have to find the value of C and the upper value is 0 0.06. So, that value is 331.3. I number it 1, 2, 3. Put it as a table. I can find the value of C. After interpolation, I can write for interpolation 0 0.06 minus 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.041 minus 0 0.04 equal to 331.3 minus 220.9 divided by c minus 220.9 you'll get c equal to 226.42 for 20 or 20, okay now we'll find, substitute all those values in this equation so my value of ft equal to 947 
twenty point six seven velocity equal to ten point five five six meters per second. Then B equal to ten m, ten m equal to ten m equal to module equal to five m. So our phase would be equal to B equal to fifty m. And C we have found that value equal to 226, 226.43, 226.43, that much Newton per millimeter. After substituting all those values, I will get F D equal to, F D equal to 9082.5. Point eight Newton. Okay. Now I can find the wear load d one b q k by cos delta one, where d one is known. D one equal to m is r one equal to one sixty mm. B is the phase width. So I'll write all those values. D one equal to thirty two m equal to one sixty millimeters. B equal to fifty mm. Phase with B equal to fifty mm. And Q equal to two is a d two by is a d one plus is a two. Q E equal to so is a d two and is a d one two into is a d two was three hundred and three point six six. That was the value of is a d two divided by is a d one. Is a d one was thirty three point Third, let me check. Thirty-three point seven three. Thirty-three point seven three is a d one plus is a d two. That is three hundred and three point six six. I'll get q e equal to one point eight. After substituting all those values, I'll get and delta one equal to eighteen point four three degrees. Eighteen point four three degrees. Then Delta one equal to eighteen point four three degree. We have found in the first slide. So my equation will be after writing all the equation. F W will be equal to fifteen thousand one five one seven eight point five k. Equating F D equal to F W, I'll get k equal to point. Five nine eight four. So I have to select a higher value from the table. From page two thirty nine. Table twelve point one six. My material is cast iron. Both are made of cast iron. So these are for steel. Up to this point, it's for steel and steel. From which it starts with steel and cast iron, then steel and fossil bonds, then this is a value for cast iron and cast iron, cast iron and cast iron. So this is a value. So. For 14.5 degree in value, this is our value of K. Second last column, 1.324. So I'll select this value of K. So you can write for 14.5 degree in value. 14.5 degree in value from table. What is the table number? Table twelve point one six. From table twelve point one six. From table twelve point one six. I will select k equal to one point three two four. I can substitute that value in the equation. I will get f new value of f w equal to eight into one. Three to four. 
will be about 20 kilo newton hour. So, in my new value of F w will be equal to 15178 k equal to 15178 into 1.324 that value will be equal to 295 newton and this is the minimum load required for wear and if you remember F d was only 9082.7 Newton, which is much lower than F w. So, this load cannot produce any wear and tear. So, our design will be safe. Thank you for listening.